hi. Today I'm going to take you through a series of seven simple stretches that are aimed at golfers. These are going to improve your flexibility and therefore improve your game. Please work within your own limits. If anything hurts, then that's your body's way of telling you something's not wrong. You should feel a restriction in those muscles where you're stretching them, but they shouldn't feel any pain. If at any point you feel any pain, please stop and move on to the next exercise or just take that stretch back a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna start off with opening up the chest muscles. So bringing the hands out wide from the body, open them back. You can bring the hands behind, pull the hands back to increase that stretch even more, but just work at your own ability. So bringing the hands forward and just open them up is a little bit easier if you find that too challenging. If you have a golf club, you can hold that golf club behind your back, but make sure you're really opening up the chest, pulling the shoulders back. Try and hold each stretch for roughly 20 seconds. That's the point in which you're really gonna benefit from those muscles increasing in those stretches. Okay, so then we're gonna bring the hands in front. We're stretching out the shoulders, the upper back. So hands are coming out in front, and I want you to curl the back round. Imagine somebody's pulling your hands away from you. Hold it there at that point of restriction where you feel the muscles just under a little bit of tension, hold it there. Perfect, bring it back. Okay, so I'm just gonna step away from the camera, lifting up to the ceiling. So I want you to reach those hands up nice and high reaching up as high as you can towards the ceiling and then you're very gently going to lean to the side we're trying to open up these muscles down through the waist so you'll feel it here you might feel a little bit into the back please make sure that you don't rotate you want to keep the body nice and straight and just open up the waist okay so then bringing it back up to the ceiling and across to the other side gentle stretch remember work to your own ability don't force those movements And back to the centre. Okay, so that's three movements of your upper body that's going to open up the shoulders, that's going to improve your movement and make your golf swing a lot more fluid. So now we move to the lower body, working onto the legs. Okay, so we're going to start with the calf muscle. So I want you to take a step back. You're pushing that heel into the floor. So that back heel goes down, a little bend into the front leg. Keep that back leg nice and straight. The further apart you take your feet, the more you're going to feel that stretch, the more intense it's going to be. Well, we're working on this back calf muscle here. So push that heel down into the ground until you feel the stretch and then hold it there. Okay, so stepping that foot in, we're going to change to the other side. Push that heel down, keep this back leg straight, front leg bent, try and keep the body nice and upright. Keep that pressure in that back heel pushing down into the ground. Perfect. Okay, so now stepping this back leg in, you want a little bit of a gap between your feet. So this back leg stays just slightly behind your front foot. You're gonna bend this back knee in till both your knees are roughly level, and then you're gonna reach down towards your toes. Now we're working on the hamstring, so you should feel this in the back of the thigh of your straight leg. So it doesn't matter how far down you can go, it's just about working in your own ability. So reaching down towards the toes until you feel that stretch and hold it there. And then bring it back up. Okay, so changing legs. One foot slightly behind the other. Bend this back leg in until your knees are roughly level and then reaching down towards the toes. Bring yourself up. So last one on the legs, we're going to stretch out the front of the thighs. Okay, so this is going to vary in your own ability. If you can, then what we're looking for is this foot to come up behind. If that's too tight, something you can just rest your toes on, whether it's a chair or the stairs, but you want the knees to be together and you're going to push slightly forwards through this hip, keep the body nice and straight again. So work to your own ability. If you can bring that foot a little bit higher, you're pulling it in towards your back. And you're going to hold that roughly 20 seconds each stretch. And then again, change your mind to the other side. Steady yourself on something if you feel unsteady, if you feel like you're going to lose your balance, it's much better to hold on and concentrate on that stretch. Make sure you get a nice big stretch. So you're going to feel this down the front of this thigh. Again, 20 seconds. And relax it down. Okay, so nice simple movements. The last one we're going to do is working through the waist. We're going to open up that twisting movement. 
Okay, so obviously with your golf swing, it's really important to be able to rotate through the body. So I want you to isolate your hips from your upper body. Imagine somebody cutting you in half. Your hips are gonna carry on facing forwards and you're just gonna stretch round to the side. So the shoulders are moving, but the hips are gonna carry on facing forwards. Perfect, back to the front. And then again, hips forwards, cutting at the waist and rotate. Bring the shoulders around as if you're trying to reach to something just behind you, but make sure you keep those hips facing forwards. And back round to the centre. Okay, so that's our seven simple stretches for today. Remember, work to your own ability. You shouldn't feel pain in any of these movements, just a gentle stretching sensation. We wanna open up that range of movement, get your body moving fluidly. The more movement you have in your joints, in your shoulders, your waist, the better that golf game is gonna be and the more you're gonna enjoy it. Thanks.